Hello and welcome to Fireside History. Last time we discussed Zadanta and his heir, Amuna, who was also his murderer. Today we'll be discussing uh, Telepinu's opinion, because Telepinu is one of our primary sources for this era, as well as the sons of Amuna. And, well, what became of them? When Amuna also became God Zuru, the chief of the bodyguards sent secretly in those days a member of his family, his son, Tahir, Tahir Wali, the man of the golden spear, and he killed the family of Titi, along with his sons. He also sent Tarushu, the courier, and he killed Hantili, along with his sons. Now Huzia became king. So, obviously, obviously Zuru... Um, was bought off by Huzia. Now, Titi and Hantili were probably the sons of Amuna, and they didn't live long to enjoy the their own power, and they were murdered by agents of Huzia. Now, the new king was related by marriage to Amuna's family. His eldest sister, Ishtaparia, was the wife of another of Amuna's sons, Telepinu. But the marriage link with Amuna's family was not enough to keep him on the throne. And so long as, you know, Amuna's sons remained alive. So Telepinu uh, could not be allowed to live. And now, fortunately for Telepinu, the plot was discovered. And the usurper um, wasn't on the throne for very long. Now, Huzia had thought that, you know, once he became king, that was it. Like, he's won. He probably thought that, and like, okay, I've got the advantage now. I can proceed to eliminate the rest of Amuna's family. But this was not to be. And uh, Telepinu would be uh, the victor here. And so, uh, the short-lived reign of the usurper Huzia came to an end. So, next time we'll be discussing Telepinu at greater length. He is one of my favorite Hittite kings. Uh, he is also one of the most tragic figures of the Bronze Age of history. So, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment.